there's no security whatsoever. So I was like, what's to stop somebody from getting in the middle of it? Somebody does. Guess who it was? I don't know. Jesus Christ himself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Remember oh, I sent you a picture last night? No, and I, and go, I have a funny story after you finish. Yeah. So I, 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 I go... Is that, G- is that Jesus? Yeah. There is a man just dressed up as Jesus Christ in the ring across from Jesus. There's a guy holding a sign that says hard 24.7. That's a biblical quote that I will never forget. I didn't know it was one. Right. But I love hard 24-7. Yeah. Jesus starts getting into it and start, starts screaming at them in the crowd or whatever. Finally, a security guard steps in because I don't know if he's part of it. Finally, a security guard steps in and was like, hey, bro, you're not part of the fucking show. We got to get you kind of back, bro. You're not, you're not part of this show. And sure. I was like, sure. why would he show up like Jesus to this thing? Right. Do you know something that I don't know? No, I, I don't. I mean, I don't know anything about it. It looks like there's people in the chats that like actually do and they've been, you know, they've been going to these things for years. Uh, y- yes. And I'm late. I apologize. Late. Know this. I am in the cult of AEW. I love it. And so is our son life. now. Whenever they come to town, we're fucking stopping everything we do and going. And I'm going to have the go. fucking time. It's the, it's, it was the fucking best, one of the best sporting events I've ever been to in Should my life. Should we start covering it? Oh, my God, dude. Absolutely. Do you guys want to be sent to all these? Yes. <laughs> We you do? Are you into it? We definitely need a podcast for wrestling because they fucking do gangbanger numbers. Jer- Jericho crushes You guys. Yeah. Yeah. Did you put Sting up on the screen? Uh, he's right here. Bob, were you into it? I was. Everyone knows who Sting was, is, right? You Me don't too even have to was. watch wrestling. Yeah. One would think. Uh, it's just a refresher. Uh, but the next one's in Dallas. I'll happily send you guys if you want to see this fucking sh- I mean, it's crazy. I'll go- I would love to go full like Gonzo on a fucking... A, like B tier professional wrestling. Yeah. Yes. 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 I heard Sting, so I had to come down from the rafters. There it is. Um, oh, Stings. So you and know. If, if, like, honestly, the early Sting, the rainbow multicolored Sting was the best with the bandana before he went all emo. Giorgio. Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah. sh- maybe you should be on the beat. Maybe you <laughs> should be on the beat. Uh, Giorgio knows. Very unsurprisingly, I wanted to be a professional wrestler until about 16 years old. I think Don't that our your son is going that way now. Well, I mean, he was very excited. Philly's just a big old wrestling town. Yeah, 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 yeah. He uh, likes the wrestler, ECW. the Aronofsky movie. <laughs> that's, that, that's exactly what I pictured, by the way. Those guys leaving. Jake the Snake it's was there last night. Jake way, the Snake though. Roberts was there and last night. And by the way, exactly. That's what I yeah. said too, Bob. Like, that's a dude that I'm like, yes. Oh, yeah. I know Jake the Snake, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Um, it was just, fu- I mean, fucking incredible. But like, a- again, all I kept thinking in my mind as a producer w- was, gee, there is 60 lawsuits waiting to happen. Some people got hit, that, like physically hit, like they went over the rails into the crowd, mm-hmm. beer, nachos, you know, spilled everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God. I wonder if, to, if you have to sign something in those areas. Yeah, it's like SeaWorld, right? Probably. Like, no. There's a splash zone. No, I was on the other side of it and... Uh, we didn't have to sign anything. You didn't have to because yeah. there was no chance of that happening to you. But I feel like if you are in that first row, maybe I'm maybe. betting. But yeah. look, maybe they really don't care. I, I, uh, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> but I don't know. But uh, it doesn't. I'll, I'll just say, uh, AEW doesn't strike me as a litigious audience. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so maybe they know that, right? Um, yeah. And so they're just prepa- they're like, look, these people aren't gonna not want to see wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sue us, yeah. we're done. Um, so the other, the other part of this is uh, another guy gets knocked out. Now, now we're live on the broadcast and they're cutting to commercials, right? So now you know that it's really fucking real. When someone gets knocked out, because this guy was bleeding everywhere, he, he's fully unconscious. Uh, I forget who it was last night. Um, there is a pit crew in between commercial breaks that no one gets to see on television of how fast... They're able to clean up the blood, get these people off the stretchers, and get them off the fucking stage. Unbelievably impressive. And when I say pit crew, that's exactly what it is. So when Homeboy went down, and it was the same exact injury as the other one, it was one of those suplexes where it didn't land. Like, it landed on his head, not on his back. And you were just like, oh, shit. That guy's fucking knocked out, right? Mm -hmm. He's bleeding. He doesn't know where he is. Uh, What happens is the first guy they send in, wiper, he wipes the blood off. 
Next one. Give me the uh, sound effects, Jesse. Oh. Yep. Cleaning up the blood there. Mm -hmm. uh, next guy. Try. Sure. Towel it off. Yep. Uh, guy after that. No lie. Mini vac. You know those mini vacs, those oh, little uh, hair, red devils. Hair and teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Look, my question is, how many of the things actually fooled you and how many of things were actually re real so great that's a great question right and so, again do you even want to know like that's the thing of it like you don't want to know which one of those things was totally staged just I, I to know. get you into it but, and I, but being that close i know so, so at the end of the night uh there was a uh, this coffin match where mm -hmm. the you have to throw the guy outside of the ring inside a coffin close the coffin and then they're dead and then that's the end of it right that's the sure. end of the nights Sure. Um, now, during this coffin match, Fine. they pulled out these metal stairs, and the guy threw them off the top ropes down on the metal. Metal didn't bend. Mm -hmm. Nothing gave on that, and it looked like... I, that, that one looked brutal, right? Right. But then he pulled the guy's eye out, and it was dangling there, and it was just like, all right, that's a fake eye. Uh, and then he sucked the eye out and spit it up into the air. The crowd went nuts. I know all of that's fake, and No, that's no, fine. no. I'm saying, like, the pit crew stuff, the, like beginning stuff to get you into it no that's I, fake. I still would what i would say that's fake but it's all fun and games until uh Jax runs into the house and spits jagger's eye at you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. you have to kind of yeah. like a little bit ease them in and be like that's not real k buddy like you don't do that and then people still live right because he's so he's at this age amazing age where i called them in the or you guys called me from the car and you were talking about the guy that was dressed as Jesus. And my son was like, Mom, I just, I don't really think it was the real Jesus. <laughs> but in a very serious tone, right? Like, yeah. I, I think it was a costume, but I don't know. And then you were being like, nope, nobody. It was the real guy. Well, no, what I said was I was not willing to, to say accept, that it was not yeah, Jesus and, or was Jesus. Because here's the other part about it is as a father, he was having so much fun oh. and he was so locked into it. I didn't want to ruin any of the magic for him. So as things were happening, um, and we'd be like, Oh, of course. Dad, of is course that guy you dead? Go and I go, totally. I go, I go, buddy. I don't know. I don't know. I go, I go, we're going to have to give this a couple minutes. I don't know. God. And then the person would wake up and they would come back to sure. life. And he'd be like, Oh my gosh, they're not dead. And I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh. I genuinely, I didn't know. And with the eye spitting out, it was like, Dad, is that guy's eye missing? And I go, I, we're going to have to watch the next, next one next week. I don't know if he's missing an eye. Typically, they'll put a patch on it. Sure. Um, and then he can live his life. It's not a it's not a life ending thing. And he goes, okay, let's watch next Wednesday. And I was like, yes, we're, we'll watch it, and then we'll find out together. Make a